An institute built on the goal of personal growth through spiritual and intellectual nurturing, spray painted messages of hate. So this is not something that you want to wake up to. Uh, we're very saddened uh, by what we've witnessed today. Some of the writings we can neither show nor repeat, but this one, Muslim Out, is one of a dozen messages sent to Muslims at Roseville's Terbia House. We refuse, however, to believe that this is uh, reflective of, of our community. We refuse to accept that. Imam Mohammed Abdulaziz says that over the past two weeks, there's been an outpouring of support from the Roseville community, but what happened here is a microcosm of similar attacks taking place across the country and indicative of a national dialogue about those who practice Islam. And I think that that is reflective of a sinister spirit that has been perpetuated by uh, you know, uh, people in power in this country. And, and we as a community need to stand up against that. Standing up against that is Kumi Wickramasinghe, a practicing Buddhist who learned about the vandalism and offered her support. There is no place for hatred and no place for violent crimes and hateful things to happen in any community. Roseville police call the graffiti unacceptable, investigating it as a hate crime. Quite frankly, we've never had any incidents like that uh, there or recently in any other houses of worship here in Roseville. Imam Abdul Aziz says this attack isn't just on Muslims. He calls it an attack on everyone in the Sacramento region. We need to fight against it forcibly in our conversations on social media, you know, at the workplace, on the dinner table. You know, every single one of us, Muslim or of any faith, no faith at all, we need to come off very strongly against this so that it does not grow into something worse.